Are Horners just Kenyans mixed with Arabs? That's a false oversimplification. Many wonder why East Africans look so different and distinct from other Africans and make a lazy assumption about Arab admixture due to geography. However, the roots of these people go way further back. Majority of the Horners' ancestry can be attributed to East African pastoralists, a population that is associated with Proto-Cushitic speakers and is in itself admixed. Around five to 6,000 years ago, farmers from Levant migrated into the Horn of Africa. What's fascinating is that this group of farmers carried haplogroup E1B1B, which itself originated in East Africa, meaning that these people performed a back-migration into East Africa. Due to thousands of years of development in the Levant, this group was West Eurasian racially, and when they arrived, they mixed with local Nilotic and Amotic peoples with the East African pastoralist, having around 40% West Eurasian ancestry, 40% Nilotic-related ancestry, and 20% Omotic-related ancestry. This is true for majority of East Africans, with a slight exception of Habashas, who received another genetic flow from West Asia a few thousand years later during the times of Aksum Kingdom. These migrants from Yemen brought with them the haplogroup J and a Semitic language which contrasts with Cushitic languages of other Horners. These people predated Arabs and spoke Semitic languages not in the same group as modern Arabic. It is said that Socotras are the closest modern people to that population. Therefore, Habashas usually have slightly more Western Eurasian ancestry than Somalis or Oromos. However, the vast majority of ancestry for all Horners, including Habashas, comes from the East African pastoralist ancestry, which has strong roots in East Africa and isn't admixed with Arabs.